Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time. I just wanted to show you some things I've got recently from a number of different places. Uh, I kind of just piled it all here. I don't have a lot of room. I need to reorganize. Uh, so it's just going to be easier to show you from here and then maybe set it aside. Um, let's hope that's easier done than said. Um, so the first order was from Doodlebugs Washington and I ordered from the new Pretty Pink Posh release and I also had I had a $15 um, like reward I was able to use and um, I had to keep adding a couple things to like make sure I had because I wasn't going to pay shipping um, you only have to spend $30 to get shipping, but after my $15 came off, I kept miscalculating. So I'll explain a couple of the items, but I got another one of these because I really, really, really like this paper. So I think this is pad number three of the watercolor wishes six by six. And I just like the six by six pads. It makes it a lot easier to, um, use or cut down for a card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, also from there, I got part of the, some of the Pretty Pink Posh release. And I will also put my Doodlebugs link down below. If it's your first purchase with her, the link will get you 15% off your first order. And it also gives me points, which also turns into those rewards. And then once you're a customer, um, you have a link you can give people. And she's awesome. And it's always free shipping over 30. Uh, in the U.S. and um, yeah, it's a very good deal. So I love shopping with her. Uh, I did sit on this release for too long, so she was out of the dies for this. But I just put in—you can just put in a request to be notified when they get back, and she's really good about that. So I'll just get it in my next order. But I got the Halloween wreath. I really like this font. I like when people have a good, or stamp companies use a good, unique font that I like. I know that it's very um, obviously a matter of opinion, uh, but there are some stamp companies that I love that sometimes use a font that I, do, I just don't like. It ruins the whole stamp set for me, honestly. If I love the images enough, I might buy it, but um, I'm very picky about font. So this one is super cute and then just a basic font for that one but um i've seen a lot of cute cards using these little images to create backgrounds um and it's just super cute so i'm excited to use this set for halloween i'm hoping to do this year like a video every day not a video maybe a card i don't know a couple years ago i think i did a video every day in october um and i think i want to try it again um, but that also might be a lot, putting a lot on my own plate. Um, so then I got the two dies, trick or treat script, super cute. And her dies work really well. The paper pops out really nicely. So I'm hoping the same goes for these kind of intricate scripty ones. Happy Halloween script, clearly labeled there which is nice to have. So I got those. Um, and then also from her, I got these two. So these were the things I was putting in my cart to not have to pay shipping. Obviously I want, rather than putting that money towards shipping, I would put it towards smaller items I can use. Uh, so I ended up with two washi tapes and um, I just really like the Doodlebug Design washi tape, the quality of it. And I've been using it on like watercolor paper to tape down and it works really well. It seals really well. You just have to press it down well enough and don't stretch it too taut before you stick it down. That can cause problems, but just hold it normal, stick it down and just press really well uh, on the inner side of the paper and you'll get a really good like lift off when you're done with um, this brand of washi tape. And so I went for the two or two of the ones, I think these were the two, that were on clearance um, that were cheaper than this. They were like $1.99 instead of $3.99 because I'm just going to use them to tape down watercolor paper and I needed more of that. So 
that was nice. And then um, I also just threw in another jelly roll pin. I have been using my 10s more often than my 8s, but uh, this will just give me another one to add to my pile. Um, so that is all I got from Doodlebugs Washington. I will put, she happens to be local to me. That was a coincidence when I found her. Um, she's a few hours away, but in the same state. Uh, I will put my link down below if you want to save 15% on your first order with her. And you will get free shipping once you hit 30 uh, before taxes. And yeah, it's a really good deal. A lot of websites have free shipping. Some don't even have any free shipping, which is stupid to me. Um, but uh, some websites, their free shipping is you have to spend like 75 bucks or some crazy amount. And um, honestly, more companies need to understand how important offering free shipping is to customers because it sounds stupid, but that's what deters me from buying a lot of things. Um, so from Amazon, just to show you this, I didn't buy all of these. I mean, I probably bought some of them from Amazon, but this container is like kind of like a spinny. So it's got a bottom a bottom piece that sits on the table and I had basically a bunch of like glass yogurt jars I had saved and had these things in three of them and I kept having to move three glass jars around which was getting annoying so I put them all into this like multi-tier there's like lower mid and high like tall depth um, so this has been really handy to have and now I can just put that off to the right and I don't have three glass jars to move around. So also from Amazon. So I do want to talk about, um, I feel stupid talking about this because it's my fault, but I do want to, um, let you know, I'm sure nobody has this problem, but me, but I want to let you know of a glitch kind of, to me, it's a glitch on Amazon. Um, so this is the last, and mine is over here, I think. No, that's my other one. I think it's this one. Yes, vintage pastels. So this is mine. These are the two. I'm doing a giveaway on Instagram, by the way, and it closes tonight. So if you want to go enter that, I'll leave my Instagram down below. Just find the picture that has two of these in it. That's all the picture is of, is these two boxes, and read the description on what to do. Um, this is the last set of, I believe, I might not have the classics, but I don't need the classics. Uh, the last set of Primo Marketing um, confections, watercolor confections sets that I didn't have was the vintage pastels and really like, you know, milky, a, f a full set of milky watercolors um, in pastel really wasn't my style. Um, but I liked it enough and I was seeing paintings done with just this set uh, that I liked. And so I figured I would just finish the collection that I have. So those are the colors. Um, so because I was waffling on whether or not to get this final set, um, I had, I, I do this thing on Amazon. It's like window shopping, basically. I'm sure other people do this too is you put something in your cart and then you go to your cart and, and go save for later so that you have a save for later list. You can't from the item just go straight to save for later. You can put it in your cart. Obviously it's Amazon. They put the buy now button in the wrong spot so that you'll press it by accident. It's not an accident for them. Um, I've done that before. It's not fun. Uh, so I'm usually a very careful now, but when I have something I might want later, I'll put it in my cart and then I'll go to my cart and I'll push it down to save for later. And then you have this extra like second cart area where it's not your cart, but it's things you've saved for later, obviously. And um, so I did that three times with this and I guess I had just forgotten. I went and cleaned up my save for later after this, by the way, but your save for later, uh, mine got very busy with a lot of things and eventually like items will just not be available anymore so I'll delete them off if I see that and it was a very long save for later list let's just say that a lot of different crap and so I had done that three times I didn't realize this was already in my save for later because I just I'm not going to go through the whole list and be like did I already save this I'll just save it again and it'll bump it to the top of the list 
And so um, I did that three times. And um, in your save for later, though, like when you put it in your cart, there's a quantity. So when I moved one of these to my cart to move to the save for later, in my cart, it said quantity one. Then when you move it to save for later, there's no quantity down there. But it's not going to save three separate listings for these. It's going to just save it under one listing. But I've done it three times. And even though it doesn't say the quantity, it has saved three of them. So then you have the option in your save for later list to move to cart. There's a button. And I did that because I finally wanted to purchase the, the watercolor set. Um, I didn't notice that it had moved then three to my cart which is not okay, in my opinion. If I save something, if I'm saving the exact same item for later, like, I guess I did have a situation once where I needed to save two of something because I needed two of those things. And when I was ready to buy it, I moved it to cart. And I knew then that it put two in my cart. So I knew what it was doing back then, which was not even a month ago, when I purchased those two of the same item. But I guess I didn't realize or remember that I had saved three of these for later. So when I moved it to my cart, there were three. But I was buying a number of other things. And and I'm going to be honest, I didn't look at the quantity. I looked at the total. The total seemed right for what I was buying. And so I didn't question it. And I should have. And now when I purchase on Amazon, I, um, I check the quantities of everything in my cart because I'm an idiot. But... I did the same with these and I am keeping both of them because it is a teal that I love and it's beautiful. It's the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine from Daniel Smith. But I had saved this twice, I believe, in my cart and then moved it up and then I got two. And so when I went to go check like when my items were coming, because that's all I do, um, I saw a two over this one and I was like, I didn't order two of those. What the heck? And it wouldn't let me cancel because it hadn't shipped yet. And you can go in and cancel items before they ship, but I couldn't cancel one of the two. I was going to have to cancel both of them. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll do a giveaway for one of them or something. I'm not giving them away because I have since opened them and I've had to clean them up because they were squirting out too much paint. And so they're like used. And also I love the color. So I'm just going to keep it that's not the only reason I want to keep it. But um, when I did that with this, I was like, I'm going to send them back because I do not need three of these. And that was a lot of money. These are like 20 bucks a piece. So are these. These are like 19 something a piece, but that's fine. And so I called the or I went to online and I went to go return two of the three and the box it up yourself UPS drop off, which is down the road from my work, was no longer free. Like they changed it very recently and it was going to take like six bucks from my refund. And I was like, no, that's stupid. Why is this? So like the Whole Foods drop off was free. There's a Kohl's drop off like no. And so um, I wanted to box it up and drop it in a box and not deal with people and just do it the quickest way for me. I was ready with my box and everything. So then I called the Amazon and I was like, why isn't this free anymore? This doesn't make any sense. I'm boxing it up for you. I'm dropping it off. I guess if, because I'll get the refund as soon as the UPS guy, when he picks it up at like four o'clock or something, as soon as he scans it, I'll get the refund, but he doesn't know what's in that box. So I guess maybe people were sending back things that were not the item that they were supposed to be returning. And maybe that was causing problems. And so they wanted to, this is my guess because... I know enough at this point in life. Um, my guess is that they want to take some money from you just in case what you end up returning is not what you said it was in the box because the refund does process as soon as the UPS guy scans it in. You don't have to wait because they don't want to make people wait that long, which is understandable, but you don't have to wait until Amazon gets the item back and verifies it before you get your refund, which should just be an option. You know, like this will take longer, but it's still free. Just do it that way. Anyway, so I called and I complained that me shipping it back to them wasn't free anymore because free returns was a very big selling point for Amazon. It makes it very easy to return things that you aren't correct or whatever. So anyway, um, I complained and then he put me on hold and then he came back and he said, I'm just going to refund you for all three and you can keep them. And I was like, okay, I guess that works. 
So he gave me a refund for all three of these, so like 20 bucks each, and said to keep them. So I decided to do a giveaway. So I'll link my Instagram down below. The picture of two of these boxes. Go enter if you would like. Read the description for the rules. The rules are very basic. Um, I don't like to make those complicated. And yeah, that's a very long story, but an explanation of having to deal with Amazon lately in different ways. Uh, that's part of it. So the rest of this is also from Amazon. Um, recently, I wanted to get acrylic markers for doing my like abstract things I've been doing. Um, I've been doing these face outlines. The face outlines are online. So the outline itself with all these like flowers and stuff is something I print off online. I don't know who's making them. I just found a bunch of them and printed them. And I like to use them and then just kind of go to town on it. And I've been wanting to use the acrylic paint markers, which I use for the white dots, but also um, I did her lips in the red. And I thought that turned out really cool because it's just more of a solid red and it's also very shiny. So I do like these a lot. This uh, set was at plenty of colors for me and um, all you have to do is shake it out I have a microphone so that might be loud now um, shake it up really good and then with the tip I just pressed it into a paper towel you press it until the paint gets down into the tip and then you can start using it and they're super easy to use so those have been really fun that's the 15 color set Chocola um, and I used it on that painting. I was just playing around. And then I also got, um, my husband bought me this set. The 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 15. Yes, the 15 set of, I'm just going to say Karen Dash, Dash, I don't know. Uh, water so the neo color 2 which is not super obvious um i have the i had hang on nope not there oh here it is the um cover so it's the neo color 2 uh water soluble wax pastels so they're basically like watercolor crayons uh but really nice and i've been using those on those paintings as well that i just showed you um, lots of nice colors. They came very carefully. There's a little foam pad to protect the tips there. So it's this cute little tin, little flat tin. And then this was over it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the paper or not. I don't really need it, but anyway, so those have been fun to play with. You can, um, mark them up and then you can take a paintbrush with water to them and, you know, uh, blend it out as well. Uh, you can do it without blending it out. You don't have to. Um, but those have been fun to play with. And then uh, this is a an inexpensive but good, per most of the reviews I've seen, watercolor set that I've been meaning to get. This one's a little bit different than most watercolor um, pans. I'll show you why. So this is one of those things that sometimes is sold, well... I guess it's not sometimes sold under a different name, but basically on Amazon, there's, there's several different, uh, item listings for this same watercolor palette, which is just weird to me, but it's, it's a cheap, um, Chinese watercolor palette, but this is one of the ones that happens to be, have like really good color and pigment and everything. So sometimes it's sold under the name, like I mean, on the listing on Amazon, it actually says pretty excellent. So that's what that says. Pretty excellent. Um, which is just funny. But uh, this one was just under the, I think, Mei Liang name. It didn't say pretty excellent in the title, but there is another one that says that. But it's all the same. So it's this mint colored tin with a cute little parrot on there. And it's a little bit different um, in that... It comes like this, and it doesn't have like a third fold-out palette like most metal palettes. It's got the, um, <clears throat> this is the 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, oh, 36, this is 36. Yes, it's on the box because I don't need to count. 
So this is the 36 set. They have a 24 set, I guess. But these are probably somewhat similar to like Paul Rubens. Um, but this one's different. It comes with a water paintbrush, which um, I don't prefer to use. And also it's coming apart. Um, <laughs> so I probably won't even keep that in there because I don't use them. I just have actual paintbrushes. But it has this plastic cover, which you don't need to keep on there either. And, um, but it's in a plastic palette and I think it's just, yeah, it's got like glue. It's very strange. If you can see in there, it was like hot glued in, but the palette it's in, I'll just keep it in there, uh, is like a plastic palette. And this looks a little cracked, but it's watercolor. So I'm not worried about that. If you can see the crack lines, it looks kind of funny. Um, you can just wet it. And even if any of these were like loose or coming out, um, you could just add water in the holes around it and kind of use the water as like a glue to get it to stay in. Um, but they look fine. I will probably do a separate video uh, doing a swatch on these. So keep an eye out for those. And I'll do it on here. Um, I think it's an order. It should be. So I will do that. I'll keep this in there too. Um, in a separate video. Probably. But I'm excited to see if those are really colorful and nice. Um, so the last two items. I'm just going to get rid of this. I don't need it. Um, the last two items I want to kind of compare to each other. They are different size. This is just Canson XL, but I wanted a bigger uh, pad. So this is the 11 by 15. I'll turn it around so you can see that. 140 pound, 140 pound cold press. Uh, so is this. It's 9 by 12 though. Uh, 140 pound, I'm assuming cold press. It looks the same. It's not hot press paper. So this one i've been wanting to try and i will be here and there trying amazon basics art supplies because i'm interested but i've been watching reviews so i'm making sure I'm, you know i'm buying things that are good that people have reviewed um this one i was impressed with it does have extra packaging <clears throat> excuse me this one was wrapped in plastic like shrink wrap plastic and then it was in this box so it came in this very flat box and it was in here in plastic okay and it is extra packaging and i know some people hate that and um claim to care a bunch about the planet i don't want to go into that um and so they're very picky about how their things are packaged but um this one it was very nice and very clean and just like beautiful all the edges and everything nothing was bent dented because it was protected okay now this one came separately i'm gonna set the amazon one aside this one came separately just in the bottom of my box as is and it has like damage which is okay because you're not really going to see the edge of each you know i'm not that worried about it but it does have damage and it's a little bit dirty on at least one side it's got some bent damage and some dirt here as well uh, other than that it's okay i mean there's some little bent damage on the last piece there um but other than that i mean it's fine it was clean this page isn't so clean but I do want things, and I could go buy this in a store, I guess. I don't even know if like Michaels carries this size, but I do want things to come to me clean and not damaged. And so I prefer the packaging that Amazon Basics did for their watercolor paper, even if it was plastic and extra and unnecessary. But to me, it was necessary because when it doesn't happen, then something like this happens where it gets damaged. So. I had already done enough complaining to Amazon, so I wasn't going to also complain about that. The paper is fine enough. And really, I just bought a big size because I wanted to play around on a bigger area. Um, it's not for like great works of art or anything like that. So there's that. Um, I think that is 
everything that I've gotten recently. Uh, and yeah, I'll put the relevant links I talked about down below. Um, if you're not able to find any of the items I showed you on Amazon, feel free to comment. I just don't want to go through this whole video and find links for everything. Um, because YouTube doesn't pay me because I don't ask them to. Uh, that's another story for another day. I think I want to make a video. You can let me know. In this case, I will ask you if you are even interested in a video, like a color and chat video about why, um, I'll say about monetizing YouTube and making art your job and why I won't be doing either. Uh, the latter is mostly, mostly because, um, I'm not good enough. <laughs> and so... <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't even know how to make art my job, but uh, I do have other reasons even if I could make art my job. So if you want a color and chat video on uh, why I don't monetize YouTube and why I don't want to make art my job, let me know down below. Um, part of the reason for YouTube, there's a lot more behind it, but also I consider whatever ads YouTube is putting on my video, which unfortunately they can do now, even though I'm not monetized. Um, if they do, then that's me paying rent for them storing all of my stupid videos. So there's that. Um, leave me all the comments. I'll put the links down below. If you can't find anything, let me know and I will help you find it. And uh, don't forget to enter the giveaway for one of these. I will be picking a winner tonight. So I'll try and post this video real soon. And yeah, hopefully you'll win one of these. Um, there aren't too many people, so I'm going to do like a write names on paper kind of drawing and pick two out of there. It is U.S. only because I don't want to have to worry about shipping internationally. Um, I've had nothing but problems trying to do that at the post office. They are not that helpful. And yeah, so that's it. I will see you guys next time. And if you made it to the end, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.